Hello YouTube fans, it's Dr. Matthew Johnson and I'm not driving to work. <laughs> Actually, I'm driving home from church and lunch after church and after Home Depot installing one of those portable air conditioner units into my office with Cynthia driving home. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> okay, I'm shooting short video because a good friend of mine um, expressed his concerns about the Jean Nu um, infusing politics into um, Bigfooting. And, um, what? Anyway, um, it's not what's going on. Or, some other people in the past have expressed their concerns about me infusing my politics into Bigfooting. What? No, you're not listening. You're not watching the videos. You're not reading my books. You're not paying attention. You're not listening. Okay, so here's the deal. I made it very clear in videos and the book, Jean Nu. You know, Zorth made it clear, questions and answers, that um, they have been politically neutral throughout human history. They've been on the planet a lot longer than we have. I've talked about how, because of their ability to be around us and not be seen by us, they're in every possible uh, political government office around anyone and everyone, uh, keeping tabs on what everyone's doing. There is no better uh, spy network on the planet than the Janu. And they know everything that everyone's talking about and everyone's doing, no matter what government we're talking about on the planet, big and small, okay? Now, they've always remained politically neutral, but they've always been keeping up to speed on what the human race is doing. Well, hit fast forward to the fact that, you know, the last couple of years, the deep state, the cabal, um, the global elitist are making a power grab. They're going for it. They're all in. So we now have a battle between good and evil, kind of Star Wars type thing, between God and Satan, between the angels and the demons, between good aliens and not so good aliens, and between good humans and bad humans. Because that is a reality that's happening that some of you are blue-pilled to, totally sleeping. You think you're woke. You think you're woke. But you're, you're sound asleep. You are not even close to being awake. You have no clue what's going on. And if you're listening to me like I'm crazy by saying what I'm saying, I, I rest my case. You're the one who's asleep. You don't know what's going on. You get to stifu and listen to me. And you need to take the red pill. So what does the red pill involve? Opening your eyes and seeing the truth. Well, what's the truth? The truth is, the deep state, the cabal, the, the global elitists are making a power grab. They're all in. It is uh, white hats versus black hats, good guys versus bad guys. And with all that said, um, Zorth, the leader of the Council of Twelve, they've always remained politically neutral, but recently they've had to pick a side. Humanity has forced them to pick a side, and they're not going to pick the side of the black cats, <laughs> the cabal, the deep state, the global elitists who want to depopulate the world through that and that. They're not going to take their side with that. And if you don't know that there's all kinds of vaccine injuries and um, V deaths, like hundreds of thousands, if not more, millions of deaths around the world because of this, then you're not paying attention. So they had to pick a side. And then I am the 13, right? I'm the chosen ambassador. And it's my job, I agreed to, to uh, share with everybody, that would be you guys, with what um, Zorth and the Council of Twelve want me to share. Now, if they would have um, told me 
to share that, you know, uh, Biden, Brandon, is a white hat, and he's on the good guys team. Um, you know, let's go Brandon. Uh, I would have been all over that. I'd be telling you all, you're all misled, you're all mistaken. Zorth and the Council of Twelve know everything that's going on around the planet. And um, they're actually siding with Let's Go Brandon. But the reality is they're not siding with Let's Go Brandon. Because Let's Go Brandon and his son's laptop that has all the evidence on it have been in bed with the Ukrainians, the Chinese. They've sold out our country. We have open borders with God knows who pouring through it, not just poor um, Hispanic people. <laughs> we have drug cartels. We have um, sleeper cells from the Middle East. We have all kinds of not so nice people coming over those open borders. Not to mention the harm they're doing to our citizens. Then you look at destroying our independent energy that was all set up for the first time ever. We were actually um, energy independent as a nation and that got all dismantled within the first year of let's go Brandon They're trying to take our country down They're trying to take our country down and they're trying to take our Second Amendment rights away So we don't have any means to defend ourselves against a tyrannical government Which is why our founding fathers put that Second Amendment in there anyway And they're also trying to take our free speech away by canceling people censoring people I mean, if you don't see that, if you don't see that, if you don't have a problem with that, you're not on the right side. So anyway, let's pretend for a moment that the species that's been on this planet for millions and millions of years, longer than humans have, that have remained politically neutral and asked me to be their 13 to their council of 12, the spokesman, and they seriously, Zorth, if Zorth seriously said, Matt, you know, the tea man, the orange man, evil, black hat, you know, we need to take a side with the bee man, Brandon, um, I'd be all over that. I seriously would. I would take my political points of view and I would set them aside because I know Zorth and the Council of Twelve know what they're talking about. They have, as I've already said, spies everywhere, everywhere, forever. They know exactly who's saying what and planning what behind the scenes. They know who have good hearts and bad hearts. They know who the white hats and the black hats are. And for the first time ever throughout history, they're taking a side. So if the side they're taking is contradicting, conflicting, creating cognitive dissonance for you and your political views, you need to step aside. You need to step away. You need to reevaluate your political views. <laughs> you don't need to be concerned about the Council of Twelve and Zorth taking a position. They know much more than any other human spy network knows about what's going on on this planet and who have the good hearts and the bad hearts, who the good guys are and the bad guys are, and which side to take. You need to reevaluate your position. You need to dig deeper and find out why they're saying the group of people that you think are the good guys are the bad guys. And there's a whole lot of research you can do. Follow 107, J-U-A-N, the letter O, Savin, S-A-V-I-N. Follow him. Um, follow the Patriot Street Fighter. Follow uh, Mel, M-E-L, the letter K, Mel K. Follow David Nino Rodriguez. Um, Follow Cash Patel or Patel Patriot. Uh, check out uh, the concept of devolution on Rumble, BitChute, not on mainstream media. Stop watching mainstream media as if they're telling you the truth. 
stop watching CNN, MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS. Stop watching Fox News and Newsmax. Stop watching all those mainstream media sources and get on Rumble, BitChute, and check out Nino's um, Corner TV, dot TV, Nino's Corner dot TV. Pay your three bucks a month, it's worth it. It's less than a gallon of gas. He's got all kinds of good gas guests on his program. But anyway, bottom line is I'm not infusing my politics and I would have jumped to the other side immediately if Zorth and the Council of Twelve told me they were the good guys, but they're not. They're not. I am merely being the ambassador. I am merely doing my job. I was asked to share starting on the night of when everyone was casting their opinions, November 3rd, 2020, to post, in the end, the T-Man wins. In the end, the, the orange man wins. And I'm like, good goal, Zorth. I mean, he's already winning, duh. And then those five, six states stopped voting, which never happened in our nation's history. That alone, that alone should cause you to go, what the heck's going on if you're an American? Regardless of how you voted, what's going on? Because that's not normal. Never happened. And then to see the drastic change turn around overnight, that should be a red flag for you to go, what's going on? That's never happened. But no. You are conveniently sleeping. Conveniently ignoring the facts, the truth. You're infusing your politics into big footing. That's what you're doing, and you're accusing me of doing it, and I'm not. And seriously, if they would have told me to go the other way, I would have, because I know they know. I know they know. And they have the ability to look down multiple timelines and see the outcome, kind of like Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies. And almost two years ago, there was probably about 85-90% certainty that in the end the T-Man wins, which is why they were willing to take that position. But over almost the last two years, all those multiple timelines have been narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down to just a few possible timelines left. And in all those timelines, in the end the T-Man wins, the Orange Man wins. And by the way, quit being a knucklehead. That statement, in the end, the T-Man wins, the orange man wins, doesn't, it's not all about him. It means God wins. You win. I win. We all win. We all win. We close up our borders. We get our free speech back. We get to keep our guns. No more forced medical crap that puts us at risk of this injury or death. We all win. So it's not just about the team in winning. We get our uh, economic success back. We get our energy independence back. We all win. That's just a short, brief way of saying, in the end, the team man wins. In the end, the orange man wins. In the end, we all win. We all win. Because what he was doing turned our country around big time. And then in the last year, Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Dismantled it all. Totally nuked it all. Look where we are. And then they're burning down food factories. You better be storing up for this fall, by the way. You better be storing up non-perishable food, water, etc. Because the fan's going to hit the wall this fall. And plus, they're going to try to force that um, primate pox on us too. <laughs> Trying to use health and fear to control the masses. That ought to be a freaking red flag for you. Wake up! And you, you quit infusing your politics into big footing. They have finally taken a stance for the first time ever for a reason. Think about that. Think about that. They know what's going on. You don't. You don't. So if it's pushing all your political buttons, then deal with it. 
Deal with it. Do your research. Deal with it. <sighs> Wake up, America. Wake up. I'm not infusing my politics into Bigfooting. And neither are the Bigfoot. They're just merely sharing the truth. And now you need to wake up and face the truth. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Or maybe you can.